All right, guys, it is the Dev King here, back with another tutorial. And in the second tutorial of the advanced series, I'm going to be teaching you about filter enables and servers and clients and stuff like that. So this is going to be kind of a confusing one. So brace yourselves, okay? If you get confused, don't worry. Please be sure to ask any questions you may have in the comments below or in my Discord server, which I live well, I'll leave a link to in the description below. And anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, but uh, yeah, let's get right into it. All right, guys. So first things first. Before I explain to you what filtering enabled is, you need to understand um, the difference between a client and a server. Okay. So um, a client. Now, okay. So in Roblox, okay, when you join a Roblox game, there's a server, right, which is where your game is hosted, right? Your game, you know, because you know if you have a Roblox game, right? Anyone can join your game at any time, no matter what, and they're connecting to one of Roblox's free servers that they give you, right? And Let's say this is the server, okay? So this is the server, all right? This little part right here, okay? It's it's a pretty big server, okay? It's blue, all right? And um, this is where all the players connect to. So every player that comes in the game, they all come to the server, okay? Now, basically, okay, the players that go to that server are called clients, okay? So me connecting to a Roblox server, right, or you, me going to the server makes me a client. So now I'm in the server, so I'm a client of the server, okay? So I hope that makes sense, that, that should. But um, basically, so that makes me a client, right? And the server is, you know, what Roblox is hosted on. Now, okay, so why do you know that, okay? So filtering enabled, like I said, what it does is it makes it so whatever happens on the client isn't replicated to the server. Now you're probably wondering, okay, filter enabled sounds pretty, um, you know, I mean, you might think it sounds maybe useless, right? But the reason why you use filtering enabled is because that way, if there was an exploit in your game, okay, let's say I was an exploiter, all right, and I decided to delete the base plate. Well, I'm just a client. So really, the base plate would not delete. It would only delete for me on my screen or on my computer and or on my client. It wouldn't delete for the entire server, so it wouldn't show for anyone else but me. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. So basically, I just deleted the base plate, right? And now it does show for everyone because I'm making um, it's in a Roblox studio. But if I were to have a server, it wouldn't show. Now I'm gonna go ahead and test it right now to show you guys what I mean. All right, so um, yeah, okay. So basically, guys, I'm going to delete this uh, part. Uh, I'm gonna make a part here and call it test part. Okay, so basically this is a little test part. Okay, and I'm gonna delete this part on my client, but it won't delete for anyone else. So let me try how to do it. Okay, so all right, so we're gonna go to test mode over here. Okay, if you go up to the top right or top left, you can actually start your own server in Roblox Studio, and it's a local server. And I'm gonna put two players on it. Okay, actually I'll put one player because I only need one player. All right, actually, I'll put two, actually, <laughs> okay. So I'll put two players on it, okay? Now I'm gonna hit start. Now you guys, have you know, you guys have never used it before, so you're not gonna know how servers, like how to make these servers, but that's how you do it. And now I'm gonna go ahead and accept this. Um, there we go, there we go, oh, okay, all right. And um, there we go. Okay, so now I have the server, right? So look, I there's player one and there's player two. Now get off me, why, why is this player? <laughs> okay, look, I have two monitors, right? So I have this player right here too. All right, so basically, I'll make it into the same thing right here, but um, as you can see now. All right, so now I have two players. I'm sorry, this is really confusing, okay? <laughs> I have two players connected to the same game, okay? Do you see, as you can see here, all right? We're both here, and whatever I do, he sees, and whatever I do, you know, he sees, right? Now, obviously, we're the same person, but, you know, we're different players, okay? So basically, now I also have the server right here, which is watching everything that happens in the game. Okay, that's what's happening. I'm seeing what's happening with the players. Okay, I see player one, I see player two, and anything they do, right? For example, let's say this moves like this, I can see it in the server, okay? Now, for example, if this player, player one, okay, I'm player one over here on the left, okay? If I were to exploit and delete uh, the, the base plate or delete the, the test part, right? It would only show on my screen. Now let me go and show you what I mean. So let me go ahead and find the properties. No, let's, no, there you go. Okay, there you go. Um, okay, so look, test parts right here. I haven't selected on my client. This is the client. Remember, this is the server and this is another client, okay? Now, if I were to delete it on my client and I hit delete, wait, crap, delete, and look, it only deleted for me. Okay, look, so right now I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, on, I'm on top of the block, right? I'm going through it, right? 
because it deleted on my screen but for this guy which is you know just a normal player it didn't delete for him and that's because oh my god i opened up guy as on accident no no okay and that's because i didn't delete it on the server so really everyone will see this part but the player or the client that deleted it so yeah that's what filtering enable does it basically makes it so Whenever you do something on the client, it doesn't replicate to the server automatically. Now, if filtering enabled was off, which you actually can't turn off anymore, Roblox made it so you have to have filtering enabled to play your game. But if it, if it was off, it would actually delete for the entire server too. So yeah, that way basically um, it kind of protects you from exploiters, you know, just kind of ruining your game by deleting your stuff or by like you know spawning in, they're changing their points or something, and um, yeah. And this also works for variables too. So if I had a variable like you know remember, remember in the last tutorial or one of the few tutorials ago, I had leader stats, right? If I were to change my stats on the client, it would only change for me and it wouldn't work, right? So basically. You know that wouldn't really matter it would only change for me on my screen and for everyone else it would look like i had normal points okay so if that makes sense to you guys i'm sorry if it's a bit confusing but um basically now i'm going to delete all the servers and i can clean up right there and delete it all so yeah you didn't have to do that you can just watch that part right there but um yeah um i hope that made sense to you guys that's what filter enable really does and how it works so yeah now, guys, if you're still confused, I'm really sorry. Um, this was actually pretty hard for me to understand at first, too. So if you're confused, don't feel bad, guys. It's a little bit of a difficult uh, topic. But I'm going to leave some more description. I'm going to leave some more links in the description to more useful tutorials. Uh, you guys may, may be able to understand, like a little diagram one. And, um, yeah. Anyways, guys, make sure you please join the Discord server and ask any comments you may have. And, yeah. So I was going to teach you guys about local scripts. But then I realized I should probably teach you about... Um, you know, player scripts, or not player scripts, but about filtering enabled first in servers and clients, stuff like that. So yeah, guys, this is filtering enabled and how it works. I hope this made it easy for you guys to understand. Like always, please join my Discord server. That way you can ask questions and meet other people. And also leave a comment if you're confused. Anyways, guys, I'll see you later. And um, yeah, I'll see you next tutorial. Peace out.